Hello class, um, this will be an explanation uh, on, for you on how to use uh, uh, the HTML. So the first thing you want to do is have a browser, either Google uh, Chrome, which is here, Google Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox. Yeah, Chrome is much easier to use with this, I'm going to use Chrome. And we're going to have a program called um, uh, Notepad++, just like this, okay? Now, if you do not have Notepad++, you can go to Google and type in Notepad++, and you can just download Notepad++ like so, click any release, and it'll download. But if you, or you can use Notepad, just like so, and if you type in Notepad here, it'll open up Notepad. They both do the same thing, but I prefer Notepad++ um, on your computer. So one of the things you want to do is really, you know, create your own website. So the way to do it is start with the command doc type HTML, okay? Type in HTML and HTML. Now with Notepad++, you simply designate the language to HTML and it will change to HTML. File save as, and you want to save to your desktop, call it my web page. one just like so okay and you'll see right here that here's the file that you saved you simply save that file and drag it to your desktop okay once you do that split screen now you can really operate so now I can type in the command head and close the command head okay and they'll have a body and I'll close the command body okay now these are closing tags for every usually for 90 I would say 95 percent of your tags okay uh, this is the closing part this is the closing tag of your opening tag so this is the opening this is the closing opening closing opening and then closing most of your coding in HTML is done in the body right here okay so what we want to do is first thing you want to type is my first web page just like that Okay, and then you load my first web page. Okay, um, we can have some other tags just like h1, just like so. Right, you want to save it, you want to open it, hello. Okay, um, you can go a little smaller with h2 and go just this like this, hello, and you'll save it. Boom. Okay. Or you can type in uh, the smallest header file, header tag is h6, and you type in hello, and you have h6, hello. Okay. And you save it just like that. Now, I can add more things to it. So if I say, you know, I write a sentence, um, this, my name is. type in my name is Bob, I save it, I load it, boom, my name is Bob. But let's say I want to underline it, what do I do? Well, the command, the tag to underline is you. And I just put it within the framework of the sentence, just like so, right? I save it right here, I refresh it, underline. If I want to make it italics, I put an I tag, just like so, okay? And I just do this slash I, just like so. Okay, my name is Bob. So for these two, I have it. Now, the other option is, well, we can do many things with this, and if we want to look up HTML tags, we can simply open up this and type in HTML tags, okay? And one of the best websites to go to is HTML references right here, right? And it's all these tags, look at all this. Like it's like it's actually several hundred. These are just only a few tags. There's there's hundreds and hundreds of tags. There's no way in the world you can memorize any of this. There's no way. You always have to look stuff up on the internet, right? So we want to look up images. One way to look up on HTML, I'm sorry, on um, W3 Schools, is to click on the image tag ing, right? Now if I didn't know what I, if I didn't know what W3 Schools, I simply type the image tag HTML, okay? Well, guess what? 
gives me W3 right here, the same thing, okay? So you have to utilize your internet and Google to kind of do this. Now, here the image source is IMG tag, IMG, inside the brackets it's SRC, and it's all this other crazy stuff, right? So I'm going to just type this in verbatim, the IMG SRC. Now, what is this SRC? The SRC is simply the source code or the source location for your image. Let me give an example. If I wanted to find pictures of kittens, and I can't spell kittens, um, and I hit images, and there are all these cute little pictures of kittens, right? So let me just click on, let's say, this little picture, kittens taking over City Hall, and I click on it, okay? And I click on it again. Wow, look at that picture. Notice that Clinton's fluff, J, uh, the JPEG right there. Okay, I'm going to left click, copy image address, or I can click on this right here. So it'll be the same thing. If I click on this, right, or I'm sorry, go back, left click, copy image address, right at the SRC, I hit paste, and then I hit this right here, all right? I, I type in the quotes. Notice that image SRC? And once I go ahead and do that, once I go ahead and actually close out the quotes, okay, I save it, boom, here's the picture of my kids. Now this is a very, very large, no matter how cute it is, it is a very large picture. And it's just not conducive for a website. No one's going to scroll through your website when, it, when your website looks like these big cat pictures, right? So we want to make this smaller. How do you make this smaller? Or even bigger, if you want to make it bigger, it's fine. But how do you make this smaller? Well, here's your height and width. And what I do is I go right here. I type in height is, I'm going to give a number, probably, you know, 300. I'm just giving a number, okay? And I'm going to give a width. And the width is going to be probably 100, okay? I'm going to save it. And I'm going to reload it. And bam. Oh, it didn't come out the way I wanted it. Because probably the height is smaller. Let me go wide height 100, width 300. Let me save it and refresh the screen. Boom. All right, it wasn't as high as I wanted. Maybe let's try 150, right? Just kind of, or 120. Let's try playing with that to get kind of the ratio that you're looking for. That's a better ratio. Okay, maybe, maybe 150. Who knows? Let me try that. Save, refresh, better, right? So this is an example of how you do this, okay? Now, go through Judy, Judith Miller's website, um, and I have that posted on, um, on your Module 7 already. And, I will, and this video is also posted in Module 7. Um, once you go through this video, your assignments will be a lot easier. And I may post more videos to kind of explain more, more concepts to make your life simpler, okay? Um, all right, guys, have a great day. Have a great weekend, and make sure you get your assignments in. Okay, bye-bye.